Hi, I'm Deacon Jeff, and today we're going to learn why the Society of St. Vincent de Paul has spiritual advisors. Let's begin with a question. Do we recognize Christ in the poor? In everything we do as Christians, we look to Jesus. St. Vincent de Paul pointed people to Jesus in every situation. And the Jesus we contemplate as Vincentians is Jesus present in the poor. One of the reasons we have spiritual advisors is to help members keep in touch with this most important truth of Vincentian spirituality. Christ is present in the poor. Since the beginning, the spiritual growth of our members has been a goal of the society. And it is an important goal, key to the success of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. National Strategic Plan recognizes spiritual advisors need to make sure this is not forgotten. This challenges us to promote greater spiritual growth at every level of the society. To accomplish this goal, Objective 1.2 mandates to have a trained and active spiritual advisor in every conference and council in the United States. This is in keeping with the rule, Part 1, Paragraph 2.2. They are called to journey together towards holiness, where they share spirituality at meetings through promoting a life of prayer and reflection, both at the individual and community level. Our members hunger for a deeper spiritual connection with their service. This is what makes the Society of St. Vincent de Paul different from other charitable services. Spiritual advisors cannot emphasize enough that our primary purpose is to grow in holiness and then to serve those who are poor. This may seem self-oriented, but holiness is to do the will of God, which for Jesus is to care for the least of our brothers and sisters. And Jesus tells us this clearly in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 46, the judgment of nations. This scripture had a big impact on St. Vincent de Paul, and it should on us as well. This is the holiness we are striving to achieve, one that recognizes and serves Jesus in the persons we encounter every day. When the Society was founded in 1833, they found it necessary to have a spiritual advisor or mentor to guide the young and enthusiastic group. The challenge to Frederick and his companions was to show they were Christian by their actions. Emmanuel Bailey, the first spiritual advisor, made them aware of St. Vincent who was the patron and exemplar of evangelizing and serving the poor. He also recommended Sister Rosalie Rendu to mentor the young men in their service to the poor. Spiritual advisors play an important role even today. Having a spiritual foundation gives our members the strength needed to persevere in this mission. This is important because you cannot give what you do not have. With spiritual formation, God gives the graces, the eyes of faith, to recognize Jesus who is present in the poor. St. Vincent de Paul, pray for us.